Okay, in this video, I'm just going to share some of the things that I do to help me deal kindly and, and from a place of love with other people and with my own emotions. Uh, so for, for, the, for starters, uh, what I do when someone is triggering me in the moment and I get that, like, I want to run feeling, like I just want to run away from this person, like their energy is so intense or negative or dense or whatever it is i consciously breathe into my heart and exhale and try to send love to that person because really we're all aspects of the divine we're all created in the image of the divine we all have a divine vibration we all are spirit i think we're all one and we're all love so in our human bodies, we get a little bit confused and thinking that things are ours and other people are separate from us. And I think a more spiritual approach is all as well. All, we are all one. We are all love. This kind of mindset of um, just trusting in the universe, trusting in the divine and surrendering the small self or the ego. So if someone's triggering, I like to breathe into my heart, exhale and send them love. If that's a little too advanced, you can feel the bottoms of your feet and breathe from the core of the earth into your heart. And then exhale from your heart back to the core of the earth. That is very grounding. The next level of that, which would be a Qigong practice, is you breathe in love or positive energy from the core of the earth into your heart. Do that now. And then exhale from your heart out through your hands and your head to the universe or to source light. And then breathe in from the divine or source light or the universe through your head and hands to your heart. And then exhale from your heart down through your legs and feet to the core of the earth. I already feel way more connected. Anyways, so that's, you know, first step I think is breathing into your heart and out from your heart. If you can breathe into your heart and then send love to the other person, if you're in a triggering situation, that's great. If you're just getting yourself all in a mental whirlwind of some type, it's really great to just stand. I like to stand in mountain pose. So Tadasana, just standing tall and breathing in earth to heart, heart to universe, universe to heart, heart to earth. Really great practice. Uh, shifts you, definitely shifts your, your emotional state and your energy into being a higher frequency or more expanded. Another practice I use is the Avesa breath. So that's putting your hands on your heart and you breathe into your heart. That's the Ave. So you draw your awareness into your heart. And then the exhalation is sa, S-A, out the mouth, and it's to the infinite unknown or to the cosmos. And ave means hail to or I acknowledge. So to me, it's basically like a moment of acknowledging God. So you breathe into your heart, the ave, and then sa. I like that one because I feel subtle, um, subtle electromagnetic energy, electromagnetic energy traveling through my whole body. It starts to circulate in my arms and legs, which feels really cool. Uh, so yeah, I learned that one in Ecuador on my ninth dimensional activation. So there's the sa breath, there's breathing in and out of the heart, there's the Qigong practice where you're going earth to heart, heart to universe. So these are just some really basic you know, they only take a couple seconds practices to do to anchor into a higher vibration to help you shift out of your uh, contracted state into an expanded state. It can help you process your own emotions, just breathing into the heart and whatever arises, loving whatever is arising, whatever it is, you know, whatever emotion, anger, fear, guilt. Just loving, loving that and not adding an additional judgment on the fact that you have that emotion or feeling. That's great. So I hope these are helpful energy practices just to get you anchored into a higher vibration. And I will share more in the next video. Thanks for watching.